Good morning, everyone. All right. So uh, in the last video, we made a options leaderboard using Thinkorswim. Uh, well, there's some of you that don't have Thinkorswim. And um, so I'm going to show you how to do it using unusual whales. Um, and uh, you can, you can, if you don't have unusual whales as a flow platform, uh, there are other flow platforms uh, that are available. And perhaps you can recreate what I'm showing you here in your favorite platform of choice. Uh, and before we begin the presentation, I just want to remind you that this presentation is not financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor. So anything that you learn from this, um, you know, is of course for your benefit, uh, but any choices you make uh, from this leaderboard uh, for trading are your choices and your choices alone. And with that, let's get started. All right. So we built a um, leaderboard for Thinkorswim. Uh, but some of you guys are in uh, different countries or you don't have Thinkorswim or you don't want to get Thinkorswim. And that's fine. If you've got uh, a flow platform, you can probably uh, build one of these. And for sure, I know you can build one with Unusual Whales, which is the flow platform that I like to use. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to go over to Hottest Contracts. And I'm going to reset this. I've already got a leaderboard set up here. And so if you reset your hottest contracts, you're going to go, everything's going to be reset. And what you want to do is go over here to where it says DT, tap in zero. And we're going to go up and filter tickers. And you're going to go for SPX, you're going to do SPX comma SPXW. And what that's going to do is now give you a zero DT leaderboard that is sorted by volume. And this will update in real time during the day. So you can see contracts go up to the top down to the bottom uh, throughout the day. Some nice advantages of uh, you know something like Unusual Whales is it can show you uh, bid ask volume uh, and then make some assumptions based on purchases of the bid or the ask, uh, whether the volume is bearish or bullish. Uh, so that can give you a little extra um, information as you're watching contracts um, at support and resistance. Uh, but that's basically it. Now, if you want to make a SPY one, it's pretty easy. You can just shift this to SPY. That'll give you your spy contracts, you want to do queues, you can just shift it to queues. Uh, of course, you can put a bunch of them together if you want. So like if you wanted to do SPX uh, and spy together, you could do that. And this will give you everything in one place. So it's kind of nice. Uh, you know, you, if you want to do IWM, uh, you'd probably want to do IWM and then you need to do zero to one um, because IWM doesn't have zero DT every day. Um, of course, you can, you know, you can do other things. You want to do Apple. You know, you can do like zero to ten, so you get a couple weeks worth of contracts. You can see this weeklies, next weeklies. Um, so if you're a short-term trader, maybe this is helpful for you. You can watch how contracts flow up and down the leaderboard, but essentially this creates a nice little leaderboard for you um, to monitor contracts uh, intraday. So if you want to save this uh, for later, it's pretty straightforward. What you can do is uh, go over to here, save filters, uh, and you know you can just call it SPX leaderboard, or you know leaderboard, and just click save, and then you'll see it there. I've already got my SPX leaderboard, so that's why I didn't call it SPX, but you can name it whatever you guys want. And um, yeah, that's it. You can delete your leaderboard if you want. You can save it something else. Uh, pretty straightforward, and that way you can recall it anytime you want. So, you know, let's say you're, you're looking at you know, something else. You're looking at what are the hottest contracts that are not indexes, and just a bunch of Tesla here. Um, you know, let's say you've, you've got a whole bunch of filters in, and, you know, you're you're looking at other stuff, and you're like, oh, I really want to move back to my leaderboard. You can just do that. Boom. You're back. All right. So uh, that's how to save it, um, and that's that's how to create a SPX uh, zero DT leaderboard or a leaderboard for any of your favorite tickers um, in Unusual Whales using the hot chains feature. So I hope that's helpful. And uh, you know, if you don't have Thinkorswim, now you have a way to uh, have a leaderboard for your contracts. All right. So if you enjoyed this video, please drop me a like. If you have any comments, uh, drop those comments in uh, box below. And if you'd like to get more content, feel free to subscribe. All right. Take care.